Welcome to Bread from the Potter. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on March the 30th, 2018. The title of the message is The Path of Deception And the Lord Jesus began Children, I have warned you before about making rash decisions without first seeking my input. How many times will you fall flat on your face before you seek my counsel before venturing into anything new? Have I not already told you that the spirit of deception has been sent out to deceive, if it were even possible, the very elect? Do you not understand this statement? It means even you who have known me for a long time can fall for a deceptive message, especially if you decide to venture into this with your gut instead of by my spirit. Children, I require that you walk very close to me. Learn my voice and learn to ask me for my will for you in anything that you decide to venture into. I love you. I will not lead you astray, but you must learn to differentiate between my voice, your voice, and the voice of the deceiver. It is not my will that you fall into deception. And remember, when you are lifted up in pride, thinking that you are too wise or too smart to fall, that is when you will fall. Pride sets you up to fail. Therefore, remember to be humble in all things. You are not that smart. If you were, you would have no need of me. I see every obstacle and trap that the enemy places in your path. Therefore, come to me. Ask my will for you before you take the first step into whatever you want to venture into. If you are confused, wait for peace and clarity from me. I am not a god of confusion. Children, many of you have fallen into all kinds of traps because something looked good, sounded good, and your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ were already involved in it. So you went ahead and joined the group without asking me about it. And then later down the road, you discover that you were deceived or it was not the right fit for you and you end up miserable. All this would have been avoided if you had just come to me, asked me, and waited patiently for my reply. Some do come to me to ask for my will, but because they are so convinced in their heart that they are doing the right thing, they go ahead without waiting for my answer. Children, just because something looks good, and may be good, it does not mean that that is the direction that I am sending you to. Remember when Paul wanted to venture into Asia to preach the gospel? What he wanted was not wrong. It was good, but just because it was a good thing, it was still the wrong time for him to do this. It was not my will at that time for him to venture into Asia. He had the wisdom to ask for direction, and I gave him an answer, for the Holy Spirit forbid him to go into Asia to preach the gospel. Children, this same thing happens to each and every one of you. You find something that seems good. You convince yourself that it is my will, when in actuality, it is your own personal strong desire to venture into it. And without asking or without waiting for my answer, you venture into it with disastrous consequences. Children, you must learn to pray and wait patiently for my answer, no matter how good something looks or sounds. Seek me first, and I will answer you, and you will find peace. Remember, I am eager to lead you in all areas of your life, however minute, however major. I am available, eager, and able to lead you down the right path. I love you, my children. Beware of deception and deceiving spirits, as well as your own strong personal desires. Run everything by me. Jesus. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.